Hey everyone, this is Dave Debo with another episode of the Property Profits Real Estate Podcast. Today, zooming in on his lunch break, <laughs> all the way from lovely Louisiana, we've got Dr. Jeffrey Anzalone. Dr. Jeff, how are you doing? I'm doing great today, Dave. Uh, looking forward to it, excited about being here. Yeah, well, I'm excited to have you as well because Dr. Jeff is a different kind of a doctor. At least, uh, period, period, honest dentist for us kind of normal folks. <laughs> and he's also a very accomplished real estate entrepreneur. So that's what we're going to be talking about because he's still working full time fixing people's teeth. And uh, he's also doing real estate investing and he's raising capital and he's working with high net worth individuals, which is, I think, something that all of us are interested in finding out more about. So uh, Dr. Jeff, why don't, why don't we start with this? What is the primary asset class that you focus on when it comes to real estate? What are you investing in these days? Uh, I kind of happened on to it by, by luck or I guess by chance, but <clears throat> the, you know, we, my wife and I rented while I was in training probably 10, 11 years. And I'm very familiar with, with the type of apartment that apartment complexes that, that we used to live in, you know, it's, it's your, you know, class B, you know, B minus probably just bread and butter. Don't really care for the high end amenities, you know, like a, a good value for a good price. I was used to living in it. I was used to knowing what type of tenants, you know, just regular hardworking, you know, other blue collar people. And, um, that's, that's kind of my, our, our sweet spot that we like. And then I'll, I'll have people ask me, well, you know, what's, what's the reason behind that? And b besides my, personal experience with it. I've got two teenagers and, uh, you know, married, still working full time. So I, I want to do something that's a little bit more, um, less risky, a little more conservative. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I, I don't go after much of the, you know, the class, a lot of the class A, but I, I don't really do a lot of new construction. You know, I want something that's already cash flowing, that's occupied already has a good track record. So that's, that's kind of the things that I look for. Um, I'm not the type that will jump on the, you know, the game stock or whatever uh, bandwagon that's, that's going on, on the, in the stock market at that time. Yeah. Well, very, very interesting. So you're basically kind of looking for bread and butter turnkey type apartment building properties. Would that be Correct. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, how long have you been investing in apartment buildings? Uh, I'm currently on my fifth year. I started with just some crowdfunding sites early on. Uh, I got burned on one equity deal. So I've, I've now moved on to um, doing projects with, with people that I get to know, you know, the sponsors that I get to know personally. I, I not only have their cell number, but I know where they live. So if, you know, problems go, go a wire, uh, I, I know where they live. Not, not that I'm going to injure anybody, but it's just, it's good to put a, a name with the face, with the address when you're, when you're talking about investing six well, figures. Everybody's scared of the dentist anyhow. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, so Dr. Jeff, where do you fit in? You know, you've got, you've got your dental practice, you're a, a husband and a father, you're a real estate investor. Are you like in the scheme of your real estate deals, are you the guy going out there finding these deals, getting them under contract, negotiating on them, all that kind of stuff? Or are you more of a passive investor in these kind of properties and you partner up with, with active people? Where do you, where, where do you fit in there? Initially, I, I thought I wanted to be involved with, with finding deals and that sort of thing. But looking back, I, we wanted more time with our kids while they're still under our roof. And I didn't want any more jobs. Plus, once I started looking at what it takes to find the deals, to underwrite them, I mean, it, that in itself is a full-time job. So there's really no way that I could do it right in order to get the best value for investors. So I'm more of a passive investor and I just work with, you know, other companies, other sponsors that go out and get the projects, you know, after I vet them and then, um, you know, share my experience on my blog that the things that I'm learning that I think other people should know before they were to invest in something like that. 
All right, very cool. So you're more of a passive investor. Do you also bring other investors on board with you into the deals or is it just all your own capital that you're focusing on? Well, it's funny you ask that because, you know, when, when I first started my website, it was just my personal experience investing. Mm -hmm. And, and then, you know, as I was learning things, you know, like, let's say for instance, cap rate, well, then I would write an article about cap rate, which I didn't know about cap rate. And then when I would learn something about, um, you know, forced appreciation or, or whatever, I would write articles on it. So after about doing that for two years, I was approached by a group, uh, Nepali capital out of Dallas that had about 80% of their investors were doctors. They found my website and he liked the message that I was sending. So he said, well, what do you think about providing education for our investors and maybe some other, other people. And then they started talking about, you know, doing some other things. And it really, it was at that time that I learned about, which was only about a year ago about helping bring people to deals. I didn't even know that existed. So I had this big platform that I had built all these people on my email list that were getting the article. So it was kind of set up perfectly because not everybody that reads the articles want to invest, but those that did want to invest and they would reach out to me, then I had a place for them to go, you know, alongside me if I were to, you know, invest in other projects. Very, very cool. Uh, so they, so would you say that you're kind of a, you're, you're not really a syndicator, but kind of, so, so you, you partnered up with these folks that, that have the deals, you've got the platform, you've got the contacts, you help bring people to their deals, you join in as well. So um, are you, are you compensated in with equity in the property? How, how does that kind of work when, when you're bringing on investor partners? Yeah, it, it seems like that maybe is kind of the norm from, from what, from talking to other people that do that. But yeah, the, they, they allow me to get like a, a small percentage share of equity in the particular project. Um, that's, that's how the, their compensation scale and most of the other ones work out. Yeah, no, that's very, very smart. So that's, so this is a way for you to have good passive projects to invest your own capital into. Mm -hmm. Plus you've got something that you can bring all the people that are following you on your platform <laughs> into as well, if they're looking for uh, a passive investment as well. So kind of a win, 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 plus you're bringing new investors to these guys that they wouldn't have access to otherwise. Correct. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Very good. So Dr. Jeff, what, you know, you, you hang out with a lot of other, high income, self-employed professionals, dentists, doctors, et cetera. What are some of the biggest mistakes you see these folks making when it comes to, you know, creating wealth and passive income? Because I know I, reading a little bit on your, on your website, your first real kick of the can was, you, correct me if I'm wrong, but you graduated from dental school with a massive, I think it was $300,000 student debt that, that you wanted to get rid of as, as quickly as possible. And that was kind of, your, your first big thing. And then you found out about passive investing. So what, what are some of the bigger mistakes you see some of your cohorts making financially? I, I think it really has, really, it's just not so much, it, it is doctors, but it's really any profession or professional that goes beyond four years of college and they tend to rack up more debt, mm -hmm. whether that's a physical therapist, chiropractor, attorney, uh, you know, engineer, you know, or some of the more specialized professions. And, you know, it, uh, there was a something, you know, I read in one of Robert Kiyosaki's books, I think it was Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or maybe one of the other ones where he said, it's, it's just a shame that the way that the financial system, I mean, not the financial, the educational system is set up to where you spend 20, 25 years of going to school getting education. And the only thing that they're teaching you about is how to get a job, mm. how to get a job, how to get a job. And then once you do get to that job, well, what's the only, well, not the only, but what's one of the main reasons that you go and get a job to make money. And they don't teach you anything about what the ultimate goal is, is how to manage your money. Mm. So 
Uh, I, I think kind of it's kind of like some of these athletes that go to college and then they become a f- professional athlete or they only go two years of college now and, and go into the NFL or the NBA. Not that we make anything near that, that those guys can, but it it's, it's kind of similar to when you're not making anything and you go from broke to having a pretty decent six figure income. And it's almost just like you, the child in you just goes wild. You know, it's like, Oh yeah, I've, I've got this debt, but who cares? I'm making all this money. And then they look up. Plus, plus they're, con- throwing, they're throwing credit at you left, right and center. Right. Oh yeah. I mean, we, you know, as a doctor, we've got the, the big S on our shirt, not for Superman, but for you know, stupid or sucker or whatever, or some other S word that you can think about. But, uh, it it's it's almost like we've we've put off and delayed gratification for so long we quote or we feel entitled that we need to go and buy a new you know lexus or tesla or the or the doctor house right off and i see that's probably one of the main mistakes is when people get out they've got all this debt they start racking up all this other debt and they can never get ahead. So it, it it really amazes me every week when I talk to people that are older than me or, you know, in their forties or fifties or whatever, making three, four, 500,000 a year or more and are broke. Mm. And I'm just like, how does that happen? But after you listen to their story, it's sort of the same common denominator. So um, I was a big Dave Ramsey follower when I first got out. I actually went through their course to become a financial coach, not to coach people, but I wanted to know what some of the questions to ask people because, you know, real estate isn't right for everybody depending on where they are in their life, you know? So I wanted to be able to get the kind of like when I get, look at a patient, I want to get the whole picture of, of what's going on so I can ethically either recommend it or say, Hey, you need to clean up some of your debt or you need to do this before you need to think about investing. So I, I think that's, I wanted, I wanted to be seen sort of as, as a trusted advisor because we, we don't really have a whole lot of people to trust out there in our field. So um, I just want to share my experience. And then um, if people need help, then I'm more than willing to, to try to help them. Excellent. Well, Dr. Jeff, time flies when we're having fun. If people want to find out more about you and what you do, how can they do that? They can simply go to the, the website. It's debtfreedr.com. If they want to uh, download, I've put together a free passive income guide. They can download that at debtfreedr.com forward slash free guide. Or they can email me, Jeff, J-E-F-F, at debtfreedr.com. All right. And again, just like you mentioned, this isn't just for doctors. That's what you happen to be. But this is for basically anybody, especially focused on on high income, high, you know, high education type folks who are making a lot of money, but not necessarily keeping it. Like you mentioned, you know, is the challenge is the second you stop working, your income goes away, just like everybody else is just, you know, doctors, dentists, lawyers, etc. tend to make a a much higher income, but again, it's completely reliant on doing the work. So right. it's all about creating that passive income. So thank you very much for sharing your insights. It's been a lot of fun. Yep. I enjoyed it. Thank you uh, again. And uh, look forward to helping any of your uh, listeners out there if, if needed. Awesome. Very good. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Well, hey there, thanks for tuning into the Property Profits Podcast. If you like this episode, that's great. Please go ahead and subscribe on iTunes. Give us a good review. That'd be awesome. I appreciate that. And if you're looking to attract investors and raise capital for your deals, then I'm going to invite you to get a complimentary copy of my newest book right back there. There it is. The Money Partner Formula. You can get a PDF version at InvestorAttractionBook.com. Again, Investor attractionbook.com. Take care.